Hi, this is Kevin with KDM Jam, owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, here's today's drop, the first appearance of Nathan Christopher Summers, the man who would become Cable. And we got four more minutes to the drop. Um, I did not make a DCA video last night. I got home late, about midnight. But I did pick up a Fantastic Four, which now gives me six. Fantastic Four number one. So I remember, I like to stack 10 at a time, one for me and one for, let's see what Spider-Man's going for right now, and then nine to flip. That's 1190. I've been picking them up for between 10 and 12 bucks, but I maxed out my Spider-Man. And let's see if I can find, yeah, here's a Fantastic Four. How many do I got now? But this is my strategy, 1090. I think I paid ten ninety nine last night for it. Um, yeah, I got six of them, and my lowest mint number is twenty seven thousand. It looks like no nineteen thousand, seventeen thousand. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm getting there. Once I get to ten, I'll move on to something else, or or if I find some better deal, I'll move on. But that's that's my basic strategy: buy ten, one for myself. And I, I'm just doing common covers. Now, I collect other, you know, Secret Rare, all that stuff. But the common covers, I think, is going to be huge uh, when it takes off because it's the only one that has the original cover on it. And it's the cheapest. So I think a lot of people will gravitate to that. Um, let's go back here. We got two minutes, 34 seconds left. Uh, this one, you know, I don't, it's nothing. It is a first appearance of young cable i guess and probably the ultra rare is the best the rare and the ultra rare those are the exclusive covers and and the problem i got with the that when they do this i i like the fact that they do five different covers but to just take color away i think it's kind of lazy you know, give us five different covers. If you're going to do different covers, make them different. Just don't make one black and white and the other one color, you know. And, and of course, the Secret Rare is always different than the other ones. Now, on Candy, they do it different. You've got the original covers on all five variety, uh, rarities, but it's graded differently. So the Uncommon is the worst one at 2.0. Common, which I'm collecting those over there too, that's 8.5. And then so on all the way up to 10.0 with legendary. Now, a thought I had, and I thought it was like that for a second there, I wish they made the core 10.0. And then they made the legendary uh, 9.5 or whatever it is and come down. That would have balanced it out and make the core even more valuable because it was the best graded comic. And it, and, but, they all have the original cover, so I guess it doesn't matter. It just would have put more buy pressure on the core. But that's the way it is. Okay, we got 47 seconds left. The last drop, I forgot to go into the wait list, but of course it didn't sell out. And I got the Beast. But, you know, I keep talking about these stores. I'm on like 19 different platforms. I only promote the ones that I use. I'm not going to promote a platform I don't use. And so that means I got 19 stores. And people got to start looking at this different. It's like you, you got an eBay store. You got a VV store. All of these stores can generate you income. Now, this is not financial advice. This is me at your own risk. I'm an expert at financial losses, entertainment purposes only. But start thinking that way that, okay, now, I don't have to do anything. I'm in the waiting room. This is not going to sell out. So I definitely got it. I got to go buy it now. And it's going to show me. Oh, I got to get more gems. Hold on. I got to buy now. And one tap buy. I'm not exposing any information there, so I'm not worried about it. I continue by now.
Okay, I got the number 4629 out of six. There are only 6,000 of these. That's probably the best thing this drop's got going for it. So I'll be going for the legendary like everybody. But if I don't get it, if I get the common core, that will be the one that I save for myself. I, I don't flip at a loss. There's no need to. Now, this is a strategy you can use, and I use it. Whatever mint number you got. Post it up there for double the price of what you paid for it, 12 bucks, 15 or gems, whatever you did. There's a chance somebody collects that specific mint number. And if they do, they're going to, they don't mind paying the double price, you know, the 14, 15 bucks. I mean, don't, if you start asking 50 for a hundred, maybe, but maybe not. I mean, it's up to you, but just because you got a mint number that doesn't seem familiar, doesn't mean somebody doesn't collect that mint number. Two times now I've sold an item doing that, that they paid more for than they could have gotten off the floor. And it wasn't because of the, the, it was a high, a low mint number. So I'm assuming it was because they collected that particular mint number or they were just being nice and they wanted to give me some extra gems. I don't know, but try that out. That might work. Um, let's see if I can go see what I got and then I'll call it a day. You own one edition. Drum roll. Uncommon. Okay. I'd rather would have had the common, but I'll take the uncommon. And that's number 4629. So what I might do is put it up there for 12, 15 gems. In fact, and I can't for 15 minutes, so there's no sense in even trying to do it. Okay. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.